Hi Game Programmer! This tutorial will teach you how to use the thumbsticks and triggers on an Xbox 360 gamepad to control a light dimmer. You can use this information to add additional gamepad input to your programs other than simple button presses. Remember that the gamepad buttons like A, B, X, and Y represent binary data in that they are either pressed or not, whereas the thumbsticks and triggers represent more of an analog range of decimal values between negative 1 and 1 for thumbsticks and 0 and 1 for triggers. Thumbstick control is useful for movement whereas triggers might be good for the speed of a vehicle. First we'll need our variables. Let's start out by creating a gamepad state variable called pad and then the background color because what we're going to do here is change the red, green, and blue values of the color at the same rate to fade from white to black or black to white. And the last thing we'll need is a variable to represent the speed at which the light changes. We're going to call this byte light change, or I guess you could call it light speed. Hmm, get it? Anyway, um, next thing we'll want to do is go to the update method. But before that, why don't you go ahead and pause the video and type in these variables. Alright, let's go down to the update method, open that up, erase this comment here, let's go ahead and update the pad gamepad state variable to gamepad dot get state. And we want to use the uh, player index dot one to query the player one controller. Next thing we want to do is add the thumbstick control for the dimmer. And so we'll go light change is equal to two times pad dot thumbsticks and this is where we access the thumbsticks you access it just like the buttons but in this case it's part of the thumbsticks group dot left because we want the left thumbstick and what about the left th thumbstick we want the x value great put parentheses around that see here we get this red squiggly because light change is a byte so we're going to have to cast this whole big value as a byte. And there we go. And that is the thumbstick control of the dimmer. Now what's up with this number two? That number two, you can consider that as the base rate of change for uh, the base speed at which the light changes. So if I put a two down there and my left thumbstick is all the way to the right, that's in the positive direction. It'll be 1 times 2, which is 2. So in this case, in one second, my light will change by 120 increments. Remember, uh, a light intensity value can go from 0 to 255. So I use the number 2 there. If you put the number 5 there, you can get a faster uh, speed at which the light changes. Next thing, let's add the trigger control. Now what we want to do here is if the right trigger is pressed, we want to increment the amount of light change. So if pad dot, in this case we go triggers, not thumbsticks, and we want the right trigger, 
And if that's greater than zero, what that means is that it's pressed at all, because if it's not pressed, it's zero. If it's pressed at all, we want the light change to be equal to, and let's go ahead and set up that byte cast right now, two times pad.triggers.write. So in this case, if pad.triggers.write is pressed all the way down, it will equal a value of 1. 1 times 2 is 2. Light change will be 2. If pad.triggers.write is pressed down by 0.5, meaning halfway, 0.5 times 2 is 1. The light change is 1. And if the write trigger is not pressed at all, well, then this statement right here doesn't happen at all because we only increment the light change using the right trigger if the right trigger is pressed at all, meaning the right trigger value is greater than zero. Now let's do the same thing for the left trigger. In this case, I'm just going to copy this, paste it down here, and just change a couple things. Change this to left. And in this case, we want it to go down so we go dot left and two. So if the left trigger is pressed, we want the light uh, to go in the negative direction for change. So we're going to put negative two there. And now I'm going to have to update my red, green, and blue intensities by that light change amount. I'm just going to copy and paste this. And change that to always remember when copying and pasting to change things appropriately red green blue there we go last thing we need to do is open up the draw method and what we're going to do here we don't need this instead of cornflower blue we're going to type in background color thing is we still need to construct a background color. So let's do that. Make a new color based off of red, green, and blue intensities. And because the red, green, and blue intensities are changed by the same amount, we'll get shades of gray. Let's see what happens. Press F5. And I'm going to go ahead and press my triggers, right trigger, it gets brighter. My left trigger, it goes down. My left thumbstick to the right, it goes up. My left thumbstick to the left, it goes down. Awesome. So there you go. The dimmer can be controlled with the left thumbstick by going left or right in the X direction or by pressing the left or right triggers. Triggers and thumbsticks are excellent sources of input from a gamepad.